गुड आफ्टरनून सर वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून कैन यू गेट योर रेज्यूम श्योर सर येस विजय कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट ऑफ आल थैंक्स फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार आई एम बेसिकली फ्रॉम चेन्नई करंटली लिविंग इन हैदराबाद आई डिड माई ग्रेजुएशन बी सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम अंडर यूनिवर्सिटी इन चेन्नई कमिंग टू माई प्रोजेक्ट माई प्रोजेक्ट इस पार्शल रिप्लेसमेंट बै यूसिंग सिमेंट रिप्लेस बै सेरामिक अंड फाइन फाइन एवर्गेट रिप्लेस बै दि ऐन स्लैग द मेन एम आफ दि मै प्रोजेक्ट एस दू रिड्यूस दि कास्ट लैवल अंड प्रोड्यूस दि ई लैवल कांक्रीट आफ्टर कोरोना द टाइम some financial problem that's why i'm work with indusan unilever private limited uh, my particular role as the sap operator sap means system application product it is the product based on the company after i realize it affect to my career go that's why i'm leave for the previous company <coughs> many opportunities then particularly i choose the dotnet platform because i really interested dotnet i can learn c sharp asp dotnet adio dotnet and sql server and html css uh, javascript front end also my strength there i am a positive thinker it helps me to achieve my goals <coughs> with help of positive thinking i can overcome the stress and i can easily adapt any type of environment my short term goal is to get a job become financially independent so that i can support my family my long term goal is achieve a good position where i can win my career with help of organization too and my hobbies are listening music watching movies and traveling that's all about me sir okay that's nice uh, now coming to technical can i what exactly c sharp is ah uh, yes sir So C Sharp is the programming language. It is an object-oriented programming language. We can build the different kind of application like Windows application, web application, and uh, mobile application. Ah, uh, Windows application there are three types there. One is the CUI and the GUI. CUI is the uh, character user interface, and the GUI is the graphical user interface. Uh, web application there are generally three types there. One is the client side and the server side and the database. Ah, uh, client side is nothing but the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript. and uh, server side we can use it for the c sharp vsp dotnet adio dotnet python uh, we can write for the this code and the database nothing but uh, sql mysql oracle like that uh, mobile application we need for the internet uh, option uh, like uh, ios and android application that likes okay now what is abstract class sir abstract is the basically keyword um we can uh, abstract class is the partial implemented class and a non partial implemented method and the non partial implemented method we can implement the derived class uh, we can special keyword we can use it for the override uh, we can also create for the reference object uh, we cannot achieve for the multiple inheritance okay what is the interface sir so, interface is the keyword basically uh, first of all the non implemented method we can implement the another class we can achieve for the multiple inheritance in the interface we can also uh, create for the reference object now what are value types and different types and the data types uh, value types is nothing but uh, um, into float double decimal that is the value type it store for the stack memory and uh, reference is nothing but string object uh, we can store for the heap memory okay. what are uh, what is asp.net uh, asp.net nothing but uh, it is the server side technology we can build the different kind of application like uh, windows uh, web application like that sir okay so what are the different validation controls under uh, asp.net yes sir uh, there are six types is there one is the record field validator regular expression uh, range validator um, validator uh, compare uh, custom validator these are sir we can use for this is the main properties is there control to validate and error message yes now uh, what is state management Uh, state management is nothing but uh, we can maintain the user information data. Uh, why we can use it for the state management? Uh, basically, uh, ASP .NET uh, depending on the HTTP, right? Uh, the HTTP, HTTP uh, is the state uh, stateless. Uh, it cannot re remember the uh, previous uh, user information data. That we can overcome the we can use it for the state management. There are two two types is there. One is the client side and the server side. Uh, client side is the web state for string. Uh, hidden field cookies and the server side is the application state and uh, session state okay what are conditional statements under c sharp uh, yes sir uh, basically two types is there one is the conditional branching and conditional looping uh, conditional branching is nothing but uh, if else and the switch condition there are we can use it for the conditional branching and the conditional looping for the for loop while loop do while and for each uh, for each we can use it for the array okay. what is an array Ah, uh, array is nothing but for uh, multiple data store the single variable. It's called the array. So what is SQL Server? Ah, uh, SQL Server is nothing but the structure query language. Ah, uh, we can store the data from database. We can use and uh, it is the table format is given uh, like uh, rows and columns. We can easily 
uh, retrieve and manipulate and these are command this is there one is the dml command ddl command tcl dcl these are command we can use it for the sql server so what is a join uh, join is nothing but we can retrieve the data from uh, two or more ta uh, more tables uh, there are uh, three types is there one is the inner join and uh, outer join outer join there are three types is there left outer right outer and full outer join and a cross join okay so store procedures uh, store procedure is nothing but um, we can store the particular procedure uh, uh, file is called store procedure we can free compile it is called uh, no need for the write again again the query we can already pre compiled it we can use it for the anywhere okay. explain about oops yes sir uh, oops is nothing but object oriented program programming language there are four fundamental pillars is there one is the abstraction encapsulation polymorphism and the inheritance abstraction is nothing but we can hide the internal path and show the essential details for example we can consider the atm machine we can insert the code after enter the pin number it generates the money right the internal data is hidden uh, that's called abstraction uh, encapsulation is nothing but um, binding or wrapping the group of variable and methods uh, at a single container is called the encapsulation uh, polymer is nothing but uh, changing the behavior based on the input change and output also change for example we can consider the mobile phone the single mobile phone we can play the different role, right? We can listening music, watching movies, and call to one person to another person. Uh, there are two types is there. One is the compile time and run time. A uh, compile time is nothing but function overloading. And run time is nothing but function overriding. These are the main in polymorphism. And inheritance is nothing but uh, uh, occurring from uh, occurring properties from a master class like uh, parent to child class relation between. And uh, there are four types is there. Uh, one is the single inheritance. Uh, multiple inheritance, multi level, and hybrid. That's all, sir. You have any questions? Actually, yes, sir. What is that? I really, I really appreciate your time for interviewing me. I'm looking forward to the next process. Okay, sure. I'll let you know once we are done with it. Okay. I guess.